Dear students, let's see how to find double integrals. We use double integrals when the integrand consists of two variables. Say for example, if you want to evaluate integral 0 to 1, integral 2 to 3, x plus y, dx, dy. Here, this integrand consists of two variables x and y. So, here we use double integrals. So, when the integrand has only one variable, we use single integral. Now, let's see how to integrate these terms. So, here both the limits of this integration are constants. So, here you have to integrate this first with respect to x and then with respect to y. Or, since the limits of integration are constants, even you can integrate this first with respect to y and then with respect to x. But, if the limits of integration, here suppose, here some variables are there some uh, 2y to y square something like that then you cannot change the order of this order of integration okay then let's see this one so here integral 2 to 3 x plus y dx dy i will integrate this term first i will integrate this first with respect to x so that is equal to so let i is equal to what is to be find out 0 to 1 i am going to integrate this with respect to x when you integrate this with respect to x we will keep y as a constant so it is x dx plus y dx integral 2 to 3 x dx plus y dx d y you can avoid this step this is optional for your understanding i'm writing it like this 0 to 1 now integral of x dx you are integrating this with respect to x so it is x square by 2 plus y is a constant integral of dx is x limit 2 to 3 d y now this is equal to integral 0 to 1 now we will replace x by 3 and 2 upper limit and lower limit so here we have integrated this with respect to x so lim limits of integration we will give for x so replace x by 3 3 square by 2 plus y into 3 upper limit minus lower limit x equal to 2 2 square by 2 plus y into 2 whole of dy this is equal to integral 0 to 1 3 square by 2 is 9 by 2 plus 3y minus 2 square by 2 means 4 by 2 4 by 2 is 2 then this plus and minus is minus 2y d y or this is equal to integral 0 to 1 3 by minus 2 y is y 9 by 2 minus 2 is 5 by 2 d y now integrate this with respect to y so it is y square by 2 plus 5 by 2 y lower limit 0 upper limit 1 so that is equal to now replace y by the upper limit and lower limits so it is 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 into 1 is 5 by 2 minus lower limit will become 0 that is equal to 6 by 2 that is 3 this is the answer now here the integrals being constant numbers these two both the integrals are constants so this order is as i told earlier this order of integration doesn't matter here so let's see that too so suppose i am doing this with integral 0 to 1 integral 2 to 3 
x plus y instead of dx dy i am writing dy dx so let's see this one so this is equal to 0 to 1 now I am integrating this term this with respect to y with respect to y so it is x into integral of dy is y plus y square by 2 limit 2 to 3 dx this is equal to 0 to 1 now replace all y by 3 and 2 so this is 3x plus 9 by 2 upper limit minus lower limit 2x plus 4 by 2 4 by 2 is 2 of dx so that is equal to 0 to 1 3x minus 2s is x 9 by 2 minus 2 is 5 by 2 dx so again integrate with respect to x so that is x square by 2 plus 5 by 2 x limit 0 to 1 putting the upper limit and lower limit you will get it as 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 minus 0 that is equal to 3 so this both the limits being constant numbers order of integration here dx dy and I did the same with d by dx both answers we got it as 3 so be careful if this is if this limit of integration has some variables then this you cannot change order of integration